Subhakar. Now we are going to prepare biodiesel from Jatrafa oil. First of all, we have to take one liter of Jatrafa oil in a bottle like this, and then we have to add chemicals such as methanol and uh, sodium lye. Now he, this about these chemicals, he will be uh, <laughs> he will be taking that. This methanol is exactly 99% sodium hydroxide and uh, which is highly inflammable and we have to take safety measures like wearing gloves and uh, like that all safety measures can be taken and also this is lye it is a so methanol and uh, this is methanol and it is uh, lye sodium hydroxide first we have for this uh, one liter of jet of oil we have to take exact quantity of 250 ml of uh, methanol that is We have to be very careful when doing this experiment. Care should be care should be taken while uh, uh, taking the uh, sufficient quantity. Otherwise, it will take some uh, abnormal reaction, which will make us to doesn't get the biodiesel. That's why we have to be very careful. We have to mix this light and uh, methanol in sufficient quantities and we have to stir it for 10 minutes so that we will be getting sodium methoxide. For these two mixing we will be taking 10 minutes of time. Now he is using syringes for exact quantity of uh, this uh, methanol and uh, lime. It is exact 250 ml of methanol and for this 1 kg of jet of oil we use exact 4.4 ml of lime for, for mixing purpose. This lime is used as a catalyst which can speed up the reaction yes. and which is to use it to fasten the reaction so that we can get the biodiesel as easily as possible. Exact quantity of 4.4 ml of lime, which is used to make, which is pour in, just pour into the, which is poured into this bottle, which is already. Now we have to stir it. We stir have it to for well it for stir it well for 10 seconds, 10 minutes. So we have to stir it this one for 10 minutes for proper mixing of these two chemicals. Mm. Now we have to pour this one liter oil in this just steel type of uh, thing for heating. And then we have to heat this mixture so that any amount of water quantity content in this can be easily removed. So that as we are doing in it home, so the, we can get like this result. This is half liter and now I am going to pour another half liter of jatrafa oil into this vessel, steel vessel. That 
Now we have to heat this jet drop of oil. Now we are heating this jet drop of oil by using ordinary stove. In order, we have to in order to remove the air and the water mixture. That is, in order to remove the moisture from the oil, we are heating. We have to heat this uh, to approximate 60 degrees centigrade. Now we are using thermometer in order to note the readings of this oil. At exactly 60 degrees centigrade, we have to stop heating. We have to heat the oil up to 60 degrees. Why? Because for the mixing of lye, for the mixing of sodium methoxide, dissolves up to like see. Now it is 40 degrees. Okay, we have reached uh, 60 degrees. Heated up to 60 degrees centigrade. Now we have to pour this 60 degrees centigrade jet drop of oil into the water by using a funnel. Care should be taken. Uniform pouring is necessary here. As the oil is not that much heated, we can handle with our own hands. This is one liter oil which is poured into the uh, one and a half liter bottle and this is the methoxide solution that we have prepared earlier. Use a funnel to be careful here while pouring the methoxide solution. This funnel is used so that it, the methoxide solution is not splitted. Okay. Put the cap on the soda bottle. Now, now let the mixture be settled down and now we have to shake it vigorously for 10 seconds every 10 minutes and we have to repeat this for every 3 times in the bottle. And we have to allow it to stand for 1 hour. We have to shake it for 10 to 15 seconds for one time and we have to repeat this for three times. Now okay. we will be getting dense layer, dense thick liquid at the bottom of the bottle and uh, upper and uh, pale yellow color in the upper portion of the bottle and uh, after, two, two, after two days we will be getting very dense thickness. This thickness will be raised to some extent and uh, biodiesel quantity will be improved for that. And uh, for uh, 1.5 liter of uh, jet of oil, we will be getting uh, 1 liter of biodiesel, 1 kg. 1 kg of biodiesel. And this quantity is known as glycerin and this quantity is known as biodiesel. This biodiesel is not uh, pure, so that we can be purified by taking this biodiesel mm -hmm. into another bottle and by pouring water of that same quantity, uh, we can uh, shake, uh, the bottle can be shake vigorously for about 10 seconds. After that, 
we will get a layer of biodiesel forms a top a top of the bottle and a layer of water which is impure in form is separated in down the from that we can get pure, a 100% pure biodiesel thank you